Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Mandarin classroom. 大家好，欢迎大家来到中文教室。I'm your teacher Jasmine Chang. Today we are going to learn the sixth lesson of basic oral Mandarin. So, firstly, let's see today's learning objectives. Firstly, we are going to check the homework for last class. Secondly, I will do the instruction of measure words. And then we are going to learn three new measure words. And the last, I will give you the homework to practice. Choose the right measure words. Okay, so let's check the homework for the last class. There are two parts. Missions for last homework. First one is make in it into a common question. First one, 我是中国人 So, this sentence into a common question. It will be, 你是中国人吗 So here you need to change the subject from 我 to 你 and then add a my in the end of the sentence. So it's the common question. Second, 他明天去学校 He will go to school tomorrow. So here, we don't need to change the subject. So we only need add my in the end of the sentence. So the sentence will be, 他明天去学校吗 That's it. Okay, and let's see the second part. Make it into a special questions with the underline part. First one, 我们晚上吃披萨 So here, 吃披萨 The special question word is what. So the question is, 我们晚上吃什么 We only need to change the part into special question word. So the question will be, 我们晚上吃什么 And the second, 他明天来学校 So here we have to use the special question word with when, right? When, when in Chinese is 什么时候 So the question will be. 他什么时候来学校 ？Okay, we only need to change the part into special question word, and we could make the special question. And then let's move to the new content, the measure word. Measure word is a new concept to the English native speakers, maybe to the other languages speakers. It's a very special. Let's see the instruction. Measure word is used between number and the noun words. So the structure is number plus measure words plus noun. And actually, in Chinese, we have a lot of measure word for different use. And today, you could see、uh, you saw the learning objectives. Today, we're going to learn the three special measure words. And for the common measure word, we will learn it in our daily conversation learning, and then you only need to remember it. That's fine.、Mm, so firstly, let's see the first measure word: a student. So in English, you only need to say the number and the noun words, but in Chinese, you have to plus. You must, you know, totally. Hundred percent. You have to add measure words. So here is a student in Chinese. We say 一个学生一个学生个 Here is the measure word. Okay. So I want to do the supplement. Is 个 is a very useful and common measure word. You will see it in a lot of situations. And let's see the second one, a desk. A desk. In Chinese, we say, 一张桌子一张桌子张 here is the measure word. Okay, so here, 张 is a very special measure word in for special noun words. 
Then we are going to learn this free special measure word for special noun word. That's the first one. Zhang. Okay, it used for the flight things like desk, paper, ticket. So here, that's the, the examples. 一张桌子 a desk. 桌子 is with a flat. You know, right? It's a with a big flat, so you have to use jump for this noun word to be the measure word. And paper, paper, 纸纸 And、uh, I wanna do the supplementary. It's like 纸 in Chinese. It has a lot of meaning. It could be the paper. It could be tissue. It could be the toilet paper, so all of them in different situation, you could say it with zhi. Okay, a piece of paper you could say, 一张纸 or a piece of tissue you also could say 一张纸 And the last, 票 ticket, a ticket, 一张票一张票 Then let's see the second. Ben. Ben is used for the books with many pages, like book, magazine, dictionaries, notebook, and so on. So first one, let's see the examples. 一本书 a book. 一本书 a book. And then let's see 一本杂志 A magazine, 一本杂志 a magazine. Next, a dictionary, 一本词典一本词典 a dictionary. And the last, a notebook, 一本笔记本一本笔记本 Okay, that's learned the last measure word, 台 So Tai actually has two uses. The first one is for machines, like the common machine, computer, laptop, and so on. And the second is for the stage performance, because Tai itself, the original meaning of Tai is stage. So it could use the for the stage performance, like opera, and so on. So that's the examples. So first one, 一台机器一台机器 So it's just a common mach machine, a machine. And the second, 一台电脑 a computer. 一台电脑 a computer.、Um, but for the laptop, you could also use the notebook. So、um, you could use like a 笔记本 To present the meaning of laptop, so you could also say 一台笔记本 But when you use 台 this magic word, we know that you're talking about the, the laptop, not the notebook. Okay. And the last is 一台歌剧 It's the second use for 台 right? A opera, an opera. 一台歌剧 Okay, for this measure word learning, if you have any questions, you could write down in the comment area. That's measure word, the special measure word for special noun words. And then in the following class, we are going to learn the other special measure word. And then it's a homework for you. Choose the right measure word. So here, three blank. You have to choose the measure word we learned today for the homework, and we will check in the la in the next in the next class. Okay. So if you want to continue learning, you can click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. 
we will update a series of Mandarin courses regularly every week. If you have any questions or suggestions, please have a message in the comment area. If you like it, please give us a like and recommend us to your friends. Thank you and see you next time. 我们下节课再见。